to my name and count it like it. Got the biggest shoe to live and direct. Ready. Count this podcast. That's my old Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Count Dead Podcast. It's your boy Devin HB. I got the judge beside me today. Got damn mm. special guest today is the shooter. What's up, y'all? What y'all got going on? The biggest shooter with my boy Dev. Yes, my sir. Boy Jay over here. The judge. We would have key, but he uh sick today, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope he ain't got that motherfucking shit key. No cap. <laughs> I said, bro, you good? That nigga said, nigga, I said I'm sick. I said, what that mean? That nigga said, I can't leave my room sick. I'm like, okay, that still don't explain. Like, you got a headache, uh-huh. your stomach ache. Yeah, nigga ain't say no nothing. Symptoms. He ain't want to describe nothing. <laughs> shit, goddamn, you want? He was already talking about what sports. Yeah. All right, shit. Who y'all teams is? Shit, me personally, I was an OKC fan, but <laughs> once they broke up, when KD did that shit, man, I had to go. I ain't been right there since. I'm rocking with John Morant though in the Grizzlies. Yeah, they, they tough. tough. They tough no for cap. sure. They definitely tough. Baby Westbrook. Who? Making the playoffs next year. Come on. Hey, first of all, let's go ahead and get this straight. John Morant. John Morant is the future three, four time MVP, <laughs> man. Stay ready to be back. Playoffs. So Memphis in a bad predicament because they in the West and they're an East Coast team. So they stack the odds is really stacked against them area. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That's all I'm gonna say. John Morant, if you're watching this, I believe you. <laughs> I fuck with John too. That nigga heartless. You just gotta be. Yeah. Shit. I just be Who your team? Chuck. My team. Yeah. Shit. I'm in a Chris Paul lie, bro. I'm the type of. I'm me personally. Be, me being you know a basketball player all my life. I look at the game differently. Mm-hmm. So it's not really about teams for me. It's more about individual players. Yeah. So when I'm watching the game, so I always grew up a Chris Paul fan. So I mean, if I had to see a team as well, Chris Paul. Wherever Chris Paul at, yeah. but. You know, I don't really look at it like that. I look at it just, I, I always study. Every time I watch the game, it's, you know, it come natural at this point. So yeah, I feel like that. What about you, Brody? Got team? <laughs> this man right here, future producer, he's going to be bigger, the biggest producer, beat maker. He'll detail your cars, wrap your cars, you know, wrap the Rolls Royce for you. Yes, I, I want to learn how to do that, no cap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rapping mm-hmm. cars. That shit lit. Yes, sir. Shit, goddamn. Who you been up to, man? Tell the people about yourself. Man, I go by the shooter. I'm a photographer slash videographer. I started about five years ago. I was at Virginia State playing football, man. And you know how I, I played cornerback. I how you started. Clamps, I'm telling you, I clamp you. You watching this, I clamp you. Bunny, hey, everything you need, I got all the tangibles, but my biggest thing was I always had a mind for the game. Like like bro said, I, I love the game so much that I was a student of it, you know. So I wasn't the biggest, I wasn't the fastest or the strongest, but I knew your move before you knew it. You know, it, the game is like chess. So you a good chess player. Yeah, you a good chess player. You don't have to be the biggest, fastest, strongest. You know, you could you could use your mental. Everything is ninety percent mental. Yeah, just outsmart your opponent. So I use them same tools in life every day. But like I said, I was at Virginia State playing football, hungry man, just looking for some way to eat. Got tired of asking dudes to cash at me. You know how that shit go, man. Yeah, so man. I went home one weekend. She already had a camera. She uh, bought for me probably like in the fifth grade. Bro, bro, right here, he was shooting our seven on sevens in high school. Like, I won't even think about touching the camera. He'll just go out there, snap pictures of us, get us right and shit. That's clutch. But I went to, I went home. I got the camera. I bought it back one week. I did five dollar pictures at school. Mm-hmm. Long story short, I made almost thirteen hundred dollars in a day. Just took yeah. pictures damn near the whole campus. Didn't even know what I was doing. Anything. And my brother Kayvon Wallace, he was at Clemson at the time. I mm-hmm. did his highlight tape, you know, just playing around with it. it did almost 20K on YouTube. So ever since then, man, I really just been running with it, 
just finding my own lane. I love it because it keeps me around the game of football. It keeps me around a lot of people. I'm a people person, so it keeps me around a lot of people. It just puts me in a lot of positions to help everybody out and do bigger things, man. So it ain't just about the lens or the camera. It's about the overall, you feel me? You definitely be everywhere. I'll be saying it. Try it, man. Hey, doing your thing, definitely. Try it, try it, try it. That's y'all boys doing y'all thing. Hey. We on the Count Dead's podcast. Don't don't you fucking forget it, man. Yes, sir. Don't, don't you ever forget it. <clears throat> hey, Gilly, Wallow. Holla at my guys, tap man. In. Hey, tap in, man. I'm telling you. Tap in before it's too late. Hey, man. You feel me? What about y'all boys, man? How was y'all day? Y'all had a good day today? Bruh. Long day. I heard you was asleep on my way here. G. My fucking dog died. Your dog died? Yeah, Real man. Talk. I dead ass. I, I I had went through the whole day. You feel me? Work went to work chilling. I I'm getting off. My mom like called me. I see the text message. I'm like, mm-hmm. So I'm like, I called and she like, yeah, I had a dog dad. I was trying to call you to help me, but I found somebody else to help me. So damn, I'm sorry for your loss, G. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's just one of them. I know how that is. I just got a dog. A little offended King Corso mixed with a pit bull. That's my baby right there, man. I can't imagine having a dog like having. A uh, I had that nigga since I was in 10th grade. Yeah, man. I'm sorry yeah. for your loss, G. Yeah, hey, it's cool, man. Appreciate it, though. Uh, other news. Shit, y'all want to jump into some topics? We could jump into topics. We could anything you want. Nothing is off limits tonight, man. Hey, man. I'm telling you, we could rock and roll. We can. Oh, oh, oh. Let me bring up the topic. Say yeah, less. Go I'm, ahead. I'm waiting on it. I think it's going to see that uh, Locks first dip shit. Ah, uh, nah. I ain't see it, but I ain't yeah. going to lie. I remember claiming Dipset dip on my set, dirt, dip you know set, what I'm saying? Dip but set, dip at set. the end of the day, Kiss crazy, man. Like you guys, you guys show your. I don't, I don't think Kiss get the respect he' supposed to get out of New York. I feel like they trying to, yeah, you feel me? I feel like they trying to push my man on the back burner behind Hov and a couple other legends, but Kiss. You better than Hov? Ah, Hov is crazy. Hov. Oh, yeah, yeah lyrically in his punchlines, he got hold by a landslide. But if you looking for that, you know that that overall sound and all that. See, Kiss not really worried about the melodies and all that. He giving you straight punchlines, straight bars, straight. It's more raw. It's yeah, it's more, more raw, raw it's authentic more raw feel. Yeah, feel to it. Um, a lot of people don't understand it. So what? Co- oh, what would y'all compare that to? Like Jay the Kiss and Jay Z. Uh Dirk and Young Boy. Young Boy more so straight to the point, punchline, straight. And then you got Dirk, you know, he multifaceted. He can give you a melody with it. He can give you that song, cry type feel, and turn around and give you that, you don't know what to do, do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like it. So I, that's that's what I compare it to, you know, modern day right now. Yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a nice comparison. Yeah, a great right. comparison. I thought you was going to go somewhere with like a Drake or something. Drake <laughs> is in the lane of his own. You should never, yeah. you should never compare nobody to Drake. I give him that credit. He beef with my man's meek, but hey, was, he took Drake is Drake is clearly in it. Bro, where was y'all at when they when uh, Meek Mill dropped that diss track? Me personally, yeah, I'm, I might have been at his crib. I might have been at his crib. Where you was at when Meek Mill dropped that diss track? Yeah, bro, I was just getting off work at UPS. I remember I was like, man, let me listen to this on the way home. I heard him say. Say something about bro getting peed on. I was like, oh, this nigga wild. Man. Hey, needless to say, that was a tough ride. I remember hearing that. Damn, he exposing my nigga like that. But what was y'all at? What people won't tell you is, me personally, Meek beat Drake in that battle. Drake just dropped a, a radio type mainstream hit. But if you listen to that war jump with O'Malley and Meek, Mm-hmm. Drake was going for see, and that's the thing about Drake. He's a strategist, so he going for more. So I'm gonna kill you on sales and make a club banger versus making a diss track. You're not gonna get that meek diss track in the club. I'm gonna get the money with this yeah. song. I'm gonna get radio play. Now you don't have no other choice but to hear it. Back to back to yeah, yeah, that's that ain't definitely a top diss track. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what I was meaning with the with the Jada kiss and the, and the Jay Z comparison. Mm-hmm. Jay Z is a money making man, yeah. you know, and that's always been him. He came from hustling, yeah. right? It just got on a higher scale as his music, oh my bad, as his musical career, you know, 
Oh man, we really, want to count this podcast. You no, know, right Jada gets this just raw and uncut. Jada didn't get the as big of a stick than than the whole did. Yeah, you know. So you you not gonna look at it like. You mean you made, made the best out of the, you made the best out of the situation. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But when when you really into music and you really not doing it for you not listening to music for the for what everybody else think and you really listening to music for what music is mm-hmm. you'll really know the difference mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. that's a fact hey man that that yeah. battle was crazy though man i ain't gonna lie my niggas was waiting Je- 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 Joel's like that new Joel santana yeah bro what he do you gotta put me on game he yeah, came out with that hat from uh yeah. the virgin oh, the yeah the all in, All in one. one. Lord have mercy. It's That's the Virgil, the uh, the Virgil helmet. He came, he came out like how you dressed back then. All three in one gave you everything you need. <laughs> That's a real New York shit. You know how credit you got to be for your legs to be out and you to have on Tim's with ankle socks. That's some real New York shit right there, B. It is. That's the only time you really see that. They're in a uh, warehouse work. Yeah, you're not going to. In Richmond, you're you going to see niggas with the Thames. They got the tongue down and shit flipped down. Yeah. Then they got on some some jeans, you know, some some skinnies. Yeah. Design a belt, T-shirt, corner store joint. White, please. Yeah. Hey. What other topics you got for us, man? Come on, we rolling with it. We on the Count Dead's podcast, man. Yes, sir. I'm trying to find that hat picture of it for you. The jewels? Yeah, this nigga yeah. dressed terribly. <laughs> like, they was ready. Cam was ready to get in a fight with uh, Styles P. Nigga was yanking bro leg. For real? Yeah. I got to watch TV more, man. I, I be too. I be Don't feel bad, man. Too, for real? Hey, y'all seen Kanye and his little workout videos and shit? Hey, what you been doing? hey look, I wanna, I wanna, su- hey, let, yeah, I wanna, su- I wanna salute to you, yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to Ye, cause that's this right here. This, this is mass marketing. You go to Apple Music right now. I'm gonna mm-hmm. show y'all. You go to Apple Music right now. Let's see. All you gonna see is Kanye, 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 Kanye. Mm-hmm. To legendary, Mike legendary. He got a verse from Ho. He got a verse from Ho. I can't wait to hear it. That is. I can't wait to hear it. I ain't know that. That is fire. Yeah. That is, so now fresh. I'm like low key anticipating that chain. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't know that. Nah, I ain't know that. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he, yeah, he got, got a jump from Ho on there. Verse from Ho. Who else on that chain? I know. Yeah, I know. Yachty gonna yeah. be on it. Okay. Um, two chains. I saw him with Kanye. All right. Who else? Uh, the baby. The baby, yeah. yeah, the baby probably will be on there. I mean, I just think it's gonna be so legendary because you can't name a bad project Ye has dropped. And then with that, with that, with that OG knowledge and insight he got right now, how could he drop something bad? Like, the man is sleeping in a football stadium That's for a I'm million thinking, dollars bro. a day. Just um, just for marketing purposes. Nigga, stand in the Benz, the Benz Stadium. Yeah, the brand new Mercedes Benz Stadium. He got. He done made more money in there than the Falcons. Nigga, y'all seen his? That's true. That is. That, a fact. That's just going ahead and say. That's that just going ahead and say that he done made more money in there than the Falcons. Sad truth. That's a sad truth. He sold out a stadium, a football stadium, for him to be the only person on the floor. Most people go to hear the, you know, see the lights and the sounds and all that when they go to concerts and mm-hmm. just the concert feel. But that man ain't had no microphone, Bruh. straight listening. That nigga, that nigga sleeping on the floor. A little air mattress, still the flow. He got him a nice little. He got him a nice but little. But the greats setup. do say though, man, like in order to be to produce something great, you gotta put yourself in uncomfortable situations. So, you know, him probably in that little ass room, 
right? It's probably getting him in the point to where he really can work. He ain't got no distraction. Yeah, he going he back to that Chicago shit, shit, man. He probably do a whole lot of stuff so in there to just focus. If y'all had to compare this, this upcoming album, what y'all expecting to any of his previous uh, albums, what y'all thinking is y'all gonna get? I think this shit right here, and this was a collab album. Yeah, that's my Very favorite anticipated. album. But I think it's more anticipated than that mm-hmm. with just himself. So that should show you how great that Jay that, that Ye has. Ye is crazy. I mean, I think that sound, like All Falls Down, is crazy. Y'all know that song? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. And now when I hear a lot of people's music today, I just think, like, yeah, Ye, Ye played an auto tune, like Runaway. I can the uh the extended version where he yeah. went straight auto tune for the whole entire second verse and chorus. That's crazy. You couldn't even understand what he was saying, but you knew what he was saying at the same damn time. Mhm. I yeah. think he putting himself back in that position where it's like I don't got nothing right now. I'm locked in the I room. Feel like, yeah, I do feel like that's what this album gonna give. It's gonna give that, you know. I've been doing this for a minute, but I'm about to take you back to square one. Yeah. Right? Because I feel like that's what a lot of rappers that have been in the game, I feel like that's what a lot of them are doing. Because it's in a sense to where even if you just look around and just feel the atmosphere, it's like history repeating itself. A lot of stuff that happened back in the day Mm -hmm. is coming back up now. Yeah. Like how you couldn't say shit back in the day. See, before Tupac and, and, and N.W.A., everything was censored. So if you went on there and you said something about gays or something about people with diseases, it would be blasphemy. So it was like, like you said, it's coming full circle because it was a point in time you can get away with saying all those things, early 2000s, 2010s. But 20 years later, after Pac and them, look, mm-hmm. it's right back. You can't even say what you want to say at a concert. People canceling you from shows. Yeah, Rappers right. get arrested everywhere they go. Not lying about everywhere. That. Now you can't really step out. You gotta be great from the comfort of your home, and that's what they're trying to make you do. They're trying to censor everything again. So I ain't never thought about that like that. Great from the comfort of your home. Yeah, that shit. Wow, it's like it's like jail. Like, like yeah, we still gonna use you in society, but we gonna put you in the box. Yeah, like. We gonna use you for cause now they realize that we that we are the music industry. You know what I'm saying? They ain't realize that at first. They thought the white folks were still running things in the music industry, but now they seeing it's like it's just like with weed. They it take them a, yeah. it take them time to realize, but they gonna realize everything is beneficial to us. So now we gonna use y'all as the puppets. Instead of going against y'all, so now you now they got people like eleven organizations want to talk to the baby now. They ain't want to talk to that man before. That's true. But now they you now we could use his face coming to our organization. He stepped foot yeah. in our room. We gonna have cameras in there. It's like they using them. It's like it's like puppetry bro, it's for money, real. Bro. Yeah. I understand, bro. They ain't going in there to talk to him on really trying to feed him knowledge. What can you tell a grown man? For real, like what can what can he really learn in probably three days, two days? Mm-hmm. Does he care to learn about it? Hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. But he know that that's what he got to do to get that cheese, man. That's a great question. Do he care? No, I don't care. I mean, he got to care a little bit. He gave out that weak ass apology. That's not that. That's that's a PR team. Man. Yeah, that part, uh, that man. He ain't say he that. Those weren't his words. Yeah, he care about, about his, his money. Daughter, he care about yeah. his family. Yeah, so but, I mean, you can make money without them tours. It was only cancer and tours. They weren't taking his sponsorships. Yeah. Well, artists, though, yeah, artists, especially now that the shit That's is back cash, open. Yeah. Like, we, nobody even knew it was 15 festivals going on in the span of the next two months. But but look, no, I understand what y'all saying. Y'all saying because it's festival time. Mm-hmm. This is when he make his most cheese. But I read some shit on the other end that that changed my perspective. It was like, oh, Brett got enough pull where if he like get a couple of the artists that he cool with, he can host his own festival and make millions, billions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? I de- so it's I like, I definitely agree. If if they're not gonna let you in the door, open your own door. You feel me? I'm like, yeah, that definitely sounds 
kind of gen- cause who wouldn't want to go? You feel me? And he from Charlotte, North Carolina, it's the East Coast. Yeah. What they got them going on down there? Yeah, he got Charlotte on Smash. To that's be what honest. I'm saying. Every artist that's coming on Charlotte now on North Carolina yeah. is, is from the big. He can host the whole festival. You feel me? Go crazy and bring some of this crazy. You know what I'm saying? Industry friends. But people don't realize too though, right? Rappers don't really make. Yeah, it's, that much it's money cheaper off of going their to somebody song, getting paid. Actual, yeah, I understand. Selling, yeah, right. Because now you gotta think now with streams. Pretty yeah, much, streams yeah, are they can make you money too. But you gotta think now it it made it more harder for them to make money because you gotta actually go platinum. You gotta actually go platinum now. Your to, song could be played on YouTube sales, or on a burner account. For real, for real. It yeah. gotta go there because. Now that everything's digital, right? Everybody got access now, so it's not gonna be as expensive to download a song. Mm. To you don't even have to download a song. It's because on, it's it's, it's so a little open kid it's somewhere. So it's a little kid somewhere that just put a brand new Dirk song on, on YouTube, or or as soon as they drop the album, y'all know you can type it in, and forty people already got that song on this. Mm-hmm. You, who so who need Apple got, Music? Unless you own your That's own true. publishing, your own masters, you, you own all that stuff, you're not making that much money off of your songs. Mm. Yeah. But you are making money off of your lifestyle. So you do have to go to these interviews. You do have to go push your things. You do have to go walk up in these clubs, walk through these bars, walk through these clubs, all to go all these places. And on top of that, you have to perform on stage that's your cash cow as a rapper in 2021 that's your cash cow right that's why in the pandemic you know what i'm saying it it was hard that's what i was thinking though like it was since they found out a way though to make cheese right another alternative so why couldn't he just yeah i think i think i think that it just pushed rappers to be more open to what they do like a lot of rappers started selling merchandise they started Mm -hmm. doing commercial like they started tapping in to they it broke them out their shell but, but what you said as far as starting, I think in my opinion, starting your own festival, you get more money getting paid to come to somebody's shit than you do putting something on. And that's what people realize because it's liabilities, it's people you got to pay, yeah. it's insurance you got to put out there, you got to pay for the venue and the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but granted, really granted you going to make a lot of money back. Yeah. But even still, when you do that, you got to pay the workers, you got to pay the stage crew, you got to... You breaking off a lot. You breaking off money in a lot of ways. You might you might end up with let's say four hundred k. But how much y'all think they making off some in the water? Come artists on. like the baby. No, nah, I'm saying like you, some in the water is from for real. Mm, yeah, the Jonas Seven Five Seven. The baby got more money than him. No. For real. No, nah, for real was in the even game close. longer. You can't even really. Like okay. he's at the point where he can do something in the world, because now people want to probably pay for real to do it because it brings so much to the city, the state. I mean, the that's city. That's like DJ Khaled. But that's what I'm saying. Like it, that Charlotte, could, that could be happening in Charlotte though. Yeah. It ain't no, OG, it ain't nobody that done had the longevity. But they love him in North Carolina. Everybody yeah. love that man. But you got and he global right now. Let's say he but do a concert still, at the Panther it's still, Stadium. It's still those people you know yeah. i'm not i ain't the reason why i can't say it because i don't want to mess up the group name or nothing like that but you know it's still those people in charlotte in north carolina it's still you know people with those diseases yeah and you know in charlotte in north carolina and all that so yeah. still even still okay you could say all right shit, let me host my own you know let me do my own thing you still gotta worry about if people gonna even come to that. <laughs> because it, before that, it wouldn't have been no issue. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, dang, these people go because it's somebody that could live next door to him that's in that type of position. Yeah, why would they be? It don't matter if it's old, he live next door to me. This is how I live. This is my. This is what I'm going through. And for you to say something like that about it, it's like, how can I? How, how can we be the same? You know? Yeah. And y'all use Tinder Hinge. 
I'm not gonna cap. I had it downloaded on my phone. But see, I got up off that joint cause man, my eyes going in the tender, I ain't gonna hold it. I'm like, alright, this ready to be some opportunity. I'm gonna meet different people. I see the same people on Instagram. It's like Instagram <laughs> limit you. You can be following hundreds of people. You gonna see the same twenty people. So I'm like, so I'm like, I need you feel me? I'm like, I need, I need to find. I'm a people person. I need a goddamn holler at some new motherfucker. Man, I got on that joke. That shit is a waste of time. I mean, because that's like a catfish high. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Like, yeah. it's like, it, that shit is creepy. I, I ain't got like, that shit creepy. Man. I ain't gonna hold it. Yeah. I, I went on there with a whole, like, I was, I was, that shit was too much for me. Me, personally, it was on some shit, like, you know, niggas putting me on to it, like, yo, like, telling you, like, this shit is, oh, yeah, people, people I'm like, all right, man, right I don't see what it's on, but I never really did nothing off of there. It was more so just, I'm just flipping through and I'm seeing, I'm really seeing, like, people can say what they want, but I done seen a lot of people that I know on these, you know, on Tinder, you know, so it's like, you know, it's just, you're just seeing, it's the same as Instagram, yeah, I think. What, what, do, what do the average person get on scroll up and down Instagram to do? Figure out who is who, be on whatever time you're going to be on, and that's what we're going, that's what we're going to do. So... Tinder and all these other web websites, uh, social media, or uh, whatever you want to call them, they're really xing out the extra shit. When you're really looking at it, they xing out the extra. Oh, um, I'm gonna post my shoes. I'm gonna post my food. No, nah, I'm gonna post me, and I'm gonna see who who really on it or who not. I ain't gonna lie. You know? As of late, I've been. I've been expanding like my social style. Like I've been, I've been getting back to myself. Like I really want to go out. Yeah, we've been outside. I really want to go outside. Like, I, but a lot of it, for real, it's because I want me to spot. Like I had to work to want to go outside. Like as a man, I feel like if you ain't got your behind the scenes straight, you can't really look out. You can't keep stepping. Cause then like, how you gonna need to step outside? Come, how you gonna get a drink? Yeah. Back you gotta try to hurry up and make this shit back. I'm not saying making shit back is a problem, but like backpedal. Yeah, time. every time like you gotta, yeah, you gotta go out outside at your own pace. You gotta find ways to go outside that's gonna benefit you. Yeah, going yeah. outside, like I go out there, I network, I meet people, you know. Now, and now, now it's like people trying to work. You know what I'm saying? Now when I'm going out. I, I'm getting on this fly, so now I'm, 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 yeah. I'm a network with way more people. I'm going to see more people, bring more people out, you know, bring more people to the brand. But you can't really, it's, it's like that with Instagram too. Like, if you down, if your pockets ain't right, or if you ain't paying your bills doing what you're supposed to do, but you standing on the ground, even if you're getting a job, what you going to do with her? You go, you go damn her say, I'm going to take her out. Yeah, mm-hmm. never take her out. And then you can't take her out, and then you wonder why she ain't getting back. And you told her shit, where well, you gonna let me take you out five times? <laughs> you feel me? You gotta got down with this. Yeah, but it's good to see though, everybody, everybody that I'm around, it's like I know they on their shit. Like y'all boys on y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? We met a couple months ago, and y'all been on y'all shit since I met y'all. My man's on his shit, you know what I'm saying? My man's on his shit. Everybody. He, we ain't got them millionaires right now, but it's a lot of people that don't wake up and nothing to the world. That shit, right. That's what, that's like what down, and, and people think saying, like, doing that mean, like, oh, you gotta get up and you gotta go into a job. But you can Google how to make a million dollars. You done did something that didn't help you or something. You can learn, you need to take notes, you need to do something. You need to do something. Every day, it could be the smallest shit. Yeah. It could be learning a new skill. Like, yeah. You want to learn something. That, that's what really got me into like, you know, shit like this. Mm-hmm. When I, I hurt my back at work, I was out. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to learn how to edit some shit. Yeah. And then that's, I went and found me. I ended up like losing my job. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to try YouTube because I just learned how to edit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you feel me? 
Yeah. That's what you gotta do. A lot of people think then a lot of people think you gotta make money a certain way because they see somebody doing it on Instagram. That's my like that's my whole point. You gotta really get out here in this world. You can't think of nobody one on one. You can do whatever you want in the world. Yeah, all the met people I'll be doing like, in the corner in real life. You know? Everybody like I didn't you gotta to. But that's cause they ain't they ain't got their shit together. Like you gotta have your I just encourage everybody to just make sure your shit be you know, you get real shit straight. You can go out, have fun, you can you can really stunt on the ground how you wanna stunt. Like you can do all that company. And everybody around you can do a company. You, know? you pity padding around my bad, my bad. But if you pity padding around and just you fake stunt, you ain't really you ain't really getting it. You ain't helping nobody. You ain't helping your people yeah. out. That ain't helping nobody out. You're coming alive, isn't it? Yeah, you're coming alive. 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 You're just staggering. Just, just staggering. Yeah, it's crazy because it's a lot of potential in the city, too. Like, Bro, that's what's crazy. That's what's like. When it, I step it, out, it, I know. It's popping. Like, it's popping right now. Like, it's it's just just it be on, it could be the fact that certain people be in positions and don't take advantage of it the right way. You know, um, what we got to do now that we even got older and, you know, now it's, it's kids that's in school, whether you not doing nothing or you doing everything. It's somebody that's in school right now that's looking up at you like, what is it like to be in your 20s? Yeah. What is it like to be an adult? You know what I'm saying? What is it like yeah, to be in college? Cool. You know, so... The, everybody that's doing something that's in the spotlight in the city, we gotta, first of all, we gotta do a better job of being unified. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Because no matter how much you don't like somebody, that person can still be the one to put you on. Right? right? And I'm not talking about like, you know, oh, they gonna come to you like, yo, yeah, bro, like I know respect. we don't like each other, but, you know, let's work together. No, I'm meaning like that person may have the person that could get them out of Richmond looking at them, right? But if we don't come together on some, at the end of the day, Richmond has talent instead of, oh, I got talent, nobody else, right? You know, a lot of people could get up out of here. Like, I was just having a conversation with someone and I was like, look at the athletes, right? People. People, Shout certain people sport, have bro. went. Crazy. People have went D1, right? People have went D1, went to the pros, been successful. Guess what? That's in, in, in the in the office, the front offices ask, that's money, right? That's millions of dollars, right? Coming into my business. So guess what? I'm going to go back to that same crop, wherever that guy is from, whatever that woman is from, right? And I'm gonna find more of those people. See that in North State. Come on. Yeah, man, you getting a lot of 84 players. Come on, right? And it's because even no matter how much they got probably played against this guy and they don't like each other, whatever, whatever, they wanna know who's the best, right? Yeah. Once they got to where they was going, once that guy got an offer, it wasn't, oh, nah, don't look at him. It was, shit. My opponent or not, I'm putting you on my highlight tape. Yeah. So they can come find you. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, it, everybody, no matter what you're doing, everybody got to do a better job of being unified. If, if we want to get to the next level. Now, if we don't want to get to the next level, then, hey, don't listen to me. But if, you, if we trying to get there, right, we got to we gotta get there. We can't get there, everybody accept it. Cause can't nobody come find us that way. That's why I've been trying to be outside too. Like, I know a lot of people from a lot of different places. Like, just growing up playing sports, you gonna play people out at Ashland. You know, you gonna play. You gonna meet people out Chesterfield. And my brother play AAU, so now I'm traveling with him. I'm meeting a whole another crowd of people. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, what I'm saying you you really do know a lot of people growing up in Virginia. Yeah. You really do. It's just how you how you able to move with it. So everybody can yeah. stay together. Like that's why I've been. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep the events rolling in and like shit like that. Everybody come out. We are gonna have a good time. I'm gonna show y'all what it mean to have a good time. Like and then this is gonna become a habit. Like yeah, we can go out here. I, 
No, I might not really fuck with him, but it's too many shorties around here. It's too much, too many bottles popping. Mm-hmm. Like they say, I'm riding and shit when I go out. I don't, I'm not here right now. I go out to have a good time, show motherfuckers. What do you be doing? Hey. What do you be doing? I'm a believer. Man, man, man. <laughs> I said he rowdy. I'm a believer. I need an elaboration on rowdy. Tell him, bro. Hey. That nigga said that nigga crazy. It's just when he. <laughs> <laughs> and that man get to that point drinking drinking whatever man, man be drinking though when that man get to that to that point it's like he just free <laughs> 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 no way to describe it as free yeah, yeah. I went out of Arizona with but my man could, I got right? lost I got lost I got lost in that bro. I would we gotta come back on the episode we can tell you something we got lost <laughs> in Arizona it's but it, it be good vibes though, you know what I'm saying? When we, when we go out, man, we want everybody to have a good time. Because with me, right, I'm going to be with them. I'm going to come, like, say we come together. I'm going to be with y'all. Mm-hmm. But if I know my homeboys over there, like like on Sunday, we was at the brunch spot, and then my homeboys and was outside, shit, we all going to the next spot. Now, everybody drinking together. That thing, you know, we go from 8 deep now to 20 deep. We got a couple more shots, you know, get these little red boy, little orange juice, like that, that. Come on, we're going to go ahead and be unified right here. Now, next time, I don't even have to be with them, they might see them and say, all right, come on, we. That's just how it easy it is. Yeah, that's how 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 it is. Yeah, yeah, so at the end of the day, people gonna move how how they see somebody move. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't gonna if they all they see is violent, violent, violent. Like damn, they can't turn up without yeah. without something happening. And that's yeah. when that, you know niggas ain't gonna come outside. Niggas ain't gonna goddamn do nothing for real. Yeah. But if we bring this shit back, like, man, we can go outside. We have a good time. I don't care who comes. You ain't have to be best dressed. You ain't got to none of that shit. I'm all out a good time. And that's just what we had. At the end of our night on Sunday, we started with eight of us. We ended with damn near 50, 60 people. It's just, it's just, they always seen the Instagram game. When, they cut, when, you, when you move and you collect and you get bigger, yeah. you move it, just like that shit. That's how it's supposed to be though. Now next time we all know like shit, everybody but that number just gonna keep growing. That number just gonna keep keep growing every week. Every week that shit gonna keep growing. Like when it's time for the you know, you gotta think, man, we get to the age where you know, we, we gotta be focused during the week. If we if we gon if we gonna have some fun, man, like right now, let's just be focused in the week. You know what I'm saying? Let's do what we gotta do so Friday through Sunday. Right, we can all go out, have a good time, get right back to it. But you gotta get, right get to, to it though. Get right back to it. Right, everybody gets productive and everybody's gonna be happy. Right? It's not because of I can say people not happy because ain't no money in their pocket. That's not true, right? But people not happy because they're not doing something that they love. They're not doing something that they enjoy doing. But it ain't even about the getting paid though. That's a plus. Yeah. But even if you if you were to just have to wake up and have the motivation yeah. to get to actually do something that you that makes you happy, yeah. then you yeah. wouldn't have nothing to worry about. Because a lot of times we don't have the money in our pocket that we may want to. I'm not gonna come up here and sit, sit there and say, I'm not getting money in the pocket. Right? But it's, it'd be because we so worried about it. We so, we so attached to the money, right? A lot of us are so attached to the money that, you know, it, it make us not have it. it make us lose it. It make us be up for one minute and then be right back down in that, you know? So it's all, but it's all about doing something that you don't feel like your time is being wasted. You know what I'm saying? It might take up all day, but it was something that you woke up and you wanted to do. It was something that the night before you was already thinking about before you went to bed. You know, everybody takes some and, and, and figure out what they're good at, right? And just do it and just maximize, it, right? When I used to, when I when I was in this company, right? 
um, you know, I had a team of over 300 people. And I used to always tell them what you need. I used to always tell them, you know, we not worried about, I'm not, I'm not worried about what you can't do. Because whatever you can't do, right, somebody else can do. Whatever one of us, it's what, five of us right now. If somebody bad at something right now, some one of the other four, somebody's good at it. Or right? better. Or better. Yeah. Bullshit. Right? So, you know, a lot of people thinking it's not nothing for them to do. It's not nothing enough for them to do because I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for that. Right? But what do you have time for? What do you want to do? What are you good at? Right? Everybody got to just focus on what they good on. Right, we all focus on what we good on. Yeah. Everybody gonna have money in their pocket in the next two, three years. Yeah. Reach. Yeah. Right. That's, that's not even a long time. time. It's not a long time. Because when we all sitting around, we having fun, we outside, all that this. Shit, right, that shit goes by fast. The month of July went by fast as fuck. Yeah, no bullshit. Month yeah. of July went by fast as fuck. Right. Like, it's my birthday. It's like, 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 it's just because, yeah. right? And got your money into it, in, into your investments. Them shits growing over the weekend, right? You got your money, you got you up, you good, right? So it's like, when you look back at it, it's like, some people may say, what are we celebrating for? No, we ain't celebrating. It's just the fact that, you know, you, get, you still gotta be grateful for where you at now, but you always gotta remember like, look, like this could be upgraded. Yeah. Right, the fun that you have and all the fun, all the going down Shaco, going to main stage, all that that could be upgraded. Right. right, it's not nothing wrong with it at all. Mm -hmm. Right, because that shit is fun as fuck. That shit is lit as fuck. Right, shout out to everybody. Right, all the all the party promoters, all the club promoters, hey, yeah, everybody hey, here yeah, pays yeah, a hey, part in the weekend. To, hey, they really right? doing that in Richmond right Shout now, out bro. to everybody. Shout, shout out to Mommy on the shout out to Main Stage. Shout out to everybody. Fun. You can have DJ that was crush groove because man, everybody is just playing a part because y'all don't realize that for our age group, it's been a minute since something really was set in place that we can do. And granted, it's been unfortunate events down there, but yeah, at niggas the same, get older though. But at the same yeah. time, you can't stop. You can't stop gun violence anyway. I just want to make that clear. Like yeah. it can happen anywhere. People think that. The best parts of the country are immune to that shit, man. They ain't doing that shit just like us, you know. Man, you just gotta, you guys, like I said, show people how to have a good time. A lot of people don't really know how to step outside. You gotta be that example of how, yeah, I see them dudes over there. That's how they doing yeah. it. We gonna come back next week and do it that way. We ain't, we ain't, you know, you gotta move different. You gotta, you gotta set that example. And it ain't always about talking. You ain't gotta post about it. You just, the way you move, and, and what people see mm -hmm. is going to always be an image in their head. It's, it's going to make people want to be better. It's going to make them say, all right, I need to go ahead and get me a little sad gig, make $100 so I can go pop a bottle next week. I mean, even if that's, you know, your goal or even mm -hmm. maybe so I can get these new, you know, my car cleaned or something. But you have seen the motivation that, all right, this is what money can do or this is what doing what you love could do or this what a team of people could do. Right. Then you don't wanna do this shit. But if God damn it's an eagle outside. Oh that was a firework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch sound like a that big be, ass bird. Oh right. yeah bro, shout out to everybody, right? Because even them, right? Even we all even including them, they gotta realize that all of that could be upgraded. We could be upgraded. What a like, like let's play our part to do that too, right? As well as come in and enjoy what's going on right now and look around and see how far we came, right? Mm -hmm. Let's keep going though, right? Let's keep going. Let's not get satisfied, yeah. right? Because we could come in and mainstay could be 
maximum capacity 10,000 people, yeah. 100,000 people, right? Yeah. In the year 2023, 2024, yeah. right? All that, right? It could be even more club, yeah. right? So everybody can be, you know, hopping, hopping, hopping. Every main, every main city has a certain road, a certain street, a certain strip, yeah. right? People can walk down and it's, you know, they have a good time. Right, we can yeah, really give that rich spot. Meet me at that spot. But it gotta take for it takes for everybody. It takes the whole group. Right, can't take just this group of people over here and plus that group of people over there. Gotta take everybody. Everybody gotta play their part in some type of way. Right. So, you know that's all I'm saying. Yeah, have a good time though, man. Have Don't a take great life time, so bro. serious. It's so much yeah. to do out here. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it took it took me, you know, to get up outside because me. Personally, like I ain't no going outside type of person, right? Yeah. I could stay in the crib, like I can find <laughs> my way to have fun privately. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's like it took me to realize, like, bro, you really don't have to be bored and rich. You really don't. You everything you is what so you make it. That's why I think. That's why I love everybody that I'm around. You can put us in a goddamn box. Cardboard box. That is going to end up being one of the best nights of our life. Just get us a bottle and a bag of weed. A bottle and a bag of weed. And man, we going to joke. We going to have a good time. We going to get on each other's ass. But at the end of the day, you can't take life so serious. You can't always worry about what you don't got. If you ever realize every time you sit there and worry about what you don't got, you're going to continue to not have that shit. But when you sitting there thinking like what you want, that shit for real, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. If you just keep talking about shit, the shit gonna happen. You ain't gotta really, you ain't really gotta be up going 100% every day. But if you just sit there and talk it and put it out there into the world, that shit gonna come right back, man. I promise you. You gotta have a good time, man. Life is too short. Hey, I got a topic I wanna talk about. Can I do that? I want to talk about how social media has corrupted females' head. I want to, I want to get on that. I ain't gonna say no specific name, but I know everybody here can attest to it. All right, first things first. First things first. You cannot judge a man off his Instagram profile. That's what a lot of these females get mixed up with. They're looking for the, the Balenciaga shoes, and they're looking for the, the, the yeah, and, and they're looking for 10,000 followers, and they're and they they following two people. I don't understand shit like this. I, like, females aren't even willing to get a guy that, that may post he going to work every day versus the dude that's just every time you see him in the car, he chilling. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he ain't getting to it, but so why social media like drawing good girls away from good dudes? I want, I want, I want y'all opinion on this. Why y'all think like why? What y'all think? Alright, let me ask a better question. Alright, <laughs> uh, let me rephrase this. I want to say it's the music. Do you do you believe <laughs> social media has corrupted females and? What is something that has personally happened to you to clarify your state? You go first. Bro, 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 bro. I'm jabbing in the middle about the situation, bro. I'm here. It's like, I'm here. They, they, I, I, I don't, I don't want it to the goddamn point, you know being proven about it. This is like we listen to music about niggas and like fucking bitches and getting money. And that's how we try to live, you know. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But they, their music is like, yeah, I'm gonna get rich. And you, the new the female future. <laughs> so you saying we hate. You saying no, 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 no. We, we, we definitely not hate, but we, we get in the game to have fucked up. Because like, we 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 can do shit, but we can't expect them not to. Like, you know, it's a double standard. Yeah. But look though, don't they lose at the end if you think about it? Cause <laughs> let's say they do get rich. Mm -hmm. You fifty, you fifty now, forty five. You feel me? Because you, you feel me? You took so long. Nah, them bitches is hustling. Oh, so let's say you get rich pursuing. 
before that? You feel me? Who you gonna marry? You got more money than you feel me? Most of the niggas, the good niggas, you probably would have chose. And the niggas that, you feel me, that got money like you, not, not gonna value you like you probably want them to. They looking for rappers and doctors, bro. But look, though, they, they want a doctor, they ain't, I don't know about that. The niggas, the niggas, they ain't gonna have no time. The They're niggas, not gonna be a picture of that. niggas with the hell cancer. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Like you got, like, you, 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 you can't, you can't goddamn drive a uh, man. Yeah, the man. Oh well, yeah, well, yeah. Two dollars. Oh, 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 you can't drive a man. You can't drive a man. Fucking check magnet. They talking about like a ninety-eight. Nah, nah. You gotta pull up with a motherfucking V8. Like, and then that's the thing, though. The girls don't be even, and the girls don't even know the difference. They don't. They just so. They just so good. No uh, a V6 could be under the motherfucking hood. That's, and that was going to be like that. <laughs> hey, when he oh, has, this, when just he let me have some sweet ass decals on the outside, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah. You can go ahead and have some, <laughs> and, and some shit all and, and, and your shit in it. Cut your pipes. And have a V6 in that, in that thing. Oh, my man got an SRT. He got the SRT. No, he don't. The whole time that nigga driving V6. That man is going the same speed. Nigga got an RT. Is that, is that Toyota Dodge minivan? Oh, yeah. Of course, it's and he slides. <laughs> and he burns the oil trying to put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> Versus the eco friendly nigga. Y'all ain't rocking with him. And he's saving gas for that man taking trips with him. Yeah. You feel me? He in the Prius. He in the Prius? You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're across the East gas, Coast. Man. Gas is at its all time <laughs> high right now. <laughs> Man, nah, for real. Hey, I don't care. I don't think I still. I don't, I'm still not. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Oh no, I'm not. I thought about getting a Prius just so I can like drive that J5. Like when I'm on the road. But I'm like, just think about it. You get shit. You can drive some club somewhere. If I was rich and I had like a Prius, I ain't sliding no goddamn Prius. Some type of shit like that. I buy my windows. Make money. Make money. What? Hey, look. Go ahead and slap that jam up real quick. You're not going to catch me in the queue. You ain't going to catch me in no Prius. What about Prius? It's like a titty. It's a titty. It's a titty. That's a titty. That's a teenage girl car. No bullshit. Yeah, that's like the Miley Cyrus hanging on a titty. I'm still saying it's a titty. You got your stereo. Hold on. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's where it gets sensitive at, right there. Yeah, um, yeah. You talk about the central. The central, yeah, yeah, no. Them, them bitches are locked for me, though. Uh huh, I bet they are. You got time. I'm in the central, bro. Them bitches is hard nowadays, bro. Ultimately, the central. The, the, the 2020, bro. I got you. Know, I wouldn't go to the central. No, I mean, the ultimate. I tried to get a car. I went, they were like, yeah, man, we'll get you a new car today. I'm on, at the Nissan dealership. Mm. Oh, for real, what the shit? Let me see that new meet the ultimate. They like, oh, we can check you in these centers. How old are you? <laughs> I'm like, man, nah. No, you better get on my face. They be trying to get rid of them. Like the worst bro. ones is the verses, bro. Oh no, hey, I ain't sliding the verses, bro. Yeah. Those yeah. bitches is too small. That shit ain't like a little leaf. Yeah, I've seen that car. That bitch, like it's like one seat and it got like the four little wheels. That one. Oh, oh, yeah, the two seater jump. Are you talking about the mini? Yeah, two seater jump. No, you talking about it's a smart car. It's a smart car. It's a little mini ass car. It's like a shopping cart car. Or you get an accident in that jam. That's why I said all the time, bro. Why would you want to put your son in that position? I can tap your shit. You Bro, at the springs, the librarian used to have one. She definitely did. She ran out of the pocket like every day. Look, look, I'm in the engineering center, bro. As a prank, we pulled that bitch in the the engineering building. She was looking for her car. Like, who's my car? Who's car? She came back in that bitch. We just having a tailgate out the back of that bitch. She's like, oh, thank you. So, 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 they drove her car in the building. I ain't know that car was in the building. Oh, my God. Count Days podcast and we're back, bitch. But, hey, then we knew somebody that had a horse. Yeah. Near the school. Nah, and like that. And somebody that went to school had a horse. So we, were to, we were trying to like this put the no horse in the hallway, but they thought they thought the horse was gonna panic. You know how to spoil it. Actually, get like a little donkey. That bitch was. Yeah, we were trying to steal somebody's car. So is that bell ring? Y'all know where everybody used to 
like when we got in class, everybody used to chill at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right by the cafeteria. Square yeah. type yeah. shit. Jump class. We try yeah. to put them out the car right now. Cause you go over there. Yeah, you niggas was high. We wanted to do a lot. If we wanted to, we wanted to uh, take over the morning. That was a mis jump. Yeah, we wanted to do that. They definitely wanted to do that. Oh, 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 we we wanted to we wanted to get uh, our principal fake arrested on the morning announcements because he used oh, to yeah, show the morning announcements in the class like video. Yeah, it used to be like on and the she TV. Yeah, yeah, so we wanted to get her <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that would have been wild. That would have went viral. But look though, but look yeah. though, but look though. That would have went viral. But look though. The officer at school was on board and everything. He was on board, but look. We was going fake arrest her type shit. So everybody was just gonna be like on it type shit, like oh shit, going crazy. But they was gonna take her around to like the field house type shit. And we was gonna throw a big ass cookout all the seniors. Yeah. It would have been tough, but they was like, they was like, you ain't on like the freshmen and was and all the other, you know, the everybody else in school. So yeah. they don't want them on shit like yeah. putting it on their Snapchat and yeah. shit. They ain't want them like putting it on social media like how often whatever, cause they won't want them. Fuck that. But we was like, right. nah, bro, we wanted, yeah, we missed it. We, we, we had some yeah. crazy ass ideas, bro. But it was gonna be the cool. The horse in the school was my favorite. Cause I was gonna ride that bitch straight down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker slipping and sliding there with kicking kids. Killing kids. Niggas did that. Somebody sprayed, party spray around school with me. Oh, man, I was in middle school. They let off a stain bomb in the middle of the hallway one day. That's the worst shit somebody could do. Fox already really God, fucked me. Like, <laughs> <your nose. laughs> nigga let off a douchebag. <coughs> man, I tell you, bro. <coughs> we started a fake ride in some grade. Man, yeah, we been out bad school. Yeah, man. I asked about uh, yeah, damn, Tinder because they are uh, introducing uh, video chat now and group chat. So on Tinder. Yeah, and then. Might as well we download that thing. Yeah, man. No catfish, man. No catfish. Tinder definitely scared. No catfish. That shit definitely. That's right. I ain't gonna lie. If you on Tinder, get the fuck off. Like, cause. If the world too crazy right now. They, 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 yeah, they like wilding out here right now. And y'all, y'all seen that shit at three different Disney worlds that they caught like twenty seven people for sex trafficking. Yeah, like employees. See that. But they see that. that they snatching kids for money out that motherfucker. Man, this shit crazy out here. Yeah. And it, you see, it was all racist. All types of races. That means it don't matter. You guys be safe. That's why I say. If you want to tend to the hand, my personal opinion, get the fuck out of that job. Niggas is, niggas know how to type your phone. Don't click no ads. Hey, as a matter of fact, I got a topic about this. Yeah. And then, bro, I hope this right up here, all the Disney kids go fucking psycho. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The actors. They introduced in the Star Wars hotel. And it's six bands to stay there. Six bands to stay there? For two nights. What it come with? That bitch probably said that. That shit probably is. It's like a it's like a little shovel. It's like a Star Wars theme hotel. That bitch probably is. What do it come with? I ain't gonna lie. I guess it comes with a experience, bro. It comes with dinner and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the cheeky heat. Yeah, probably get like a dinner. Two nights stay, one of the camp. Oh, one of his hundred cabins will start at twelve hundred per person for a two person room and then it'll set you back about forty eight hundred. Two adults, one child, equal up to about six bands for the same period. Oh that's a that's that's a that's an experience. I bet I better get the fighting with the motherfucking uh I was just ready to get into that, so look. I just ready to get into that. So look, a whole uh, Star Wars experience such as lightsaber training sessions, building model spaceships, racing other droids in competition, and taking detour Black Spire outposts. That on bitch And sipping drinks. So I ain't gonna lie, it was worth six bands, probably worth yeah. six bands. Like, shit like that, like, I, 
If they, yeah. if, they, if, they, if, they, if I had a kid, bro. if I had a kid. Shit, I did that shit by myself. It's only what, twelve hundred. I wasn't in the Star Wars. Yeah, like I ain't never seen the Star Wars. I always tried to do too. Let's just have a little kid price though, six bands. Like for your kid, yeah. What? Yeah, it ain't tricking if you got it. Like for your kid, like if you like my my. You don't probably have to go to them shit, do you? Huh? That shit not mandatory, is it? The little training and shit. No, 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 Nah, I, I, I got a little dizzy, bro. That's you all. But see, I had a good time on that bitch. So you ain't got on a cruise? Ever. Ever. First cruise. Ever. I don't care. I don't care what my life takes me. Ever. Bro. You been on a boat, though, right? Sweet. Yeah, I go back. I slide. I ain't gonna lie. I slide through the river and shit. But look. You go on a cruise. That shit's lit. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna hold it ready. That's me and, right. me and Buck was playing basketball at the top of the ship, bro. No, I'm telling you, that's what right. happened. All that shit cool. I play basketball on land. Me personally, like, bro, I don't care what nobody say. Yeah, Ain't bro. nothing that big supposed to be on the, in the ocean, bro. It's just on top of the water. That shit How you make. feel about airplanes, man? Them bitches big? Oh, we good, though. That's <laughs> Them, good, them bitches is huge. I ain't gonna lie, I brought it. It takes a lot, though. Like, yeah. It takes a lot. All I'm saying is. But you hit a rock out that bitch in a little dick going to the bottom of the boat. Right then, they. Cancel. You said they gonna hit a rock, right? They took that trip so many goddamn times. They gotta be in cold water. I'm not standing, bro. We live in the Atlantic, on the Atlantic Ocean. It's warm. You ain't gotta worry about no glaciers. Most of the time, you taking cruises to to Caribbean areas. Unexpected like thunderstorm. What that? That don't mean nothing. Shit. It's light in the. Ready to put this bitch in cruise control? That's what that mean. Yeah, what I'm saying. Ain't no, no rocks. What you expect it? You can't pay me. On the airplane, look. This is how I look at it. On the airplane, the only thing stopping us is a fucking lightning bolt striking our ass down. What? Closer. <laughs> you ever think about that? Your engine go out when the motors blow. Oh, but shit, we ran a crash land. But now look, though. With airplanes and shit. More like, boats sink this plane. It's, it's on some shit like, yeah. you're going to know. Like, like, the plane if you don't know, <laughs> like, the only way you just like, go through sink. shit like that, like engine yeah. failure, all that shit, is if you not, if niggas just don't check the plane. Like if you just don't check the plane. Yeah, they do, bro. But it's like niggas clearly check it because no one wants to, you know. So I'm as a pilot, I'm checking the plane as every time it's something. Like that. Yeah, I ain't trying to die. So you gonna know like if something wrong with the plane. Sure, sure. Sure. It's unexpected. So I might be loose under that jump. But you're gonna know before you get off the ground. Sure. Like you're That's gonna know. Sad. Everything alerts the plane. Like any little thing wrong with the plane, it's an alert for you. What if you already left on exactly? It's nothing like it's either something gonna happen, either something gonna happen. Or it's like like when, like when do you usually see your check engine like, like I'm on a boat, then crash in the plane on one mean? person? That's a car. More people exactly. It's a car. And that's a plane. <laughs> but it's a same thing. What I'm saying is, I'm 200 on that. Check engine. Like you, if something's wrong with the plane, you're gonna know. If something's wrong with the plane, you're gonna know. You're gonna take off on the right on the land. Our commercial, our cruises are more optional than planes. Vehicles when traveling, the odds of dying are nearly as slim as possible. Nearly as slim as possible. That means it's not as slim as possible. What? <laughs> That's what right. you got out there? Go back to the original statement. No, it no. said five to six deaths per year for moving. <laughs> That's at the last back, please. That's right here. How much rather take an airplane? Five to six deaths per one thousand pregnancies. But how do you die on a boat? Look, it says there. It says there. Slang crazy. There's only a one in ten thousand chance of dying on the airplane. 
you only die if you in the fantasy of deaths per one one of the dies and register in my So you so mean more people die on airplanes than what? Because that's a hundred thousand. So that's ten to a hundred thousand in five to sixty. <laughs> and yeah, them, and them 10 can't I hear about people sinking all the No, you don't. That's what you do. Bro. Yeah. People, bro. People in the James River right. itself, bro, people can be out there on the boat and got on the boats. I did that one time. No, that's and that's because my old boy said, pull up my old boy. I definitely hear more about planes crashing. Things. Come on, man. Right. When the last plane got. Come on, like man. Hey, she still died. The plane crashed on the strange field, bro. Nigga, planes disappear in the air. But I do know that I do. Let me see my phone. How many niggas sink in the boat per year? I'm sorry, I don't understand what that means. Yeah, she is definitely not saying that. How many people sink in a boat per year? Exactly. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? She don't understand what he's saying. That's what she's saying. Hey man, are you looking at uh, other news? Oscar Mayanawina is giving out. Dodge coin. They doing ten thousand in a pack, in a promotional pack. So if you get like one of them janks, you could get one glizz a pack of glizzies could get you ten ten thousand dodge coin. Shit, I'm not gonna just try to fuck that shit. You ain't gotta eat them. <laughs> no, you ain't gotta eat them bitches. You don't. I don't wanna do nothing with them. <laughs> don't do nothing with them. <laughs> That's, That's probably not even a dollar yet. But shit, you got 10,000 of them bitches. Oh, shit. But well, when they become shit, what's going to happen? <laughs> wow. When they become shit. Look at this right here, bro. Look at all these deaths, and, deaths and injuries in the boat for a year. You got, in 2020, it was 767 deaths. Where the airplane numbers at? And 3,191 injuries. What are the numbers are? And this, and this injury is in the thousands of, and above 2,000 every year. Above 2,500 every year. Airplanes? And over 500 deaths every year. And 11 was on the airplane? Not a boat. But them people won't post to do that. She yes, said. they got caught slipping. It was a couple planes, you feel me? Everybody on each plane took an L, I'm just saying. You like seven hundred people that over five hundred people that died on the plane. Where where that's, that's, that's on the boat. That's just a boat number. Where, where they playing numbers. You know ain't this many people that died. I wanna see the numbers. Y'all know that many people that either died or get injured on the plane. I wanna see the plane numbers though. They would make people stop flying if that many planes was coming down. No, they wouldn't. Planes just start falling on houses and then planes are commercialized, they wouldn't stop that jet. They have some plane crash per year, right there. Look at them numbers, Chuck. Now we gotta find, find, we gotta find, find the home, some accurate here over here. Air traffic fatalities. Go ahead. Now, nah, go back up. Look at your chart right there. It's nowhere near as many. Five hundred sixty-two hundred. What the? What is this number? Chat by chat, Jesus, freaking Christ. 
Look at the chop by chop, fellas. Now show them that chop. Why well, I can't see my numbers? What you mean? Why you can't see them? This I, is. I just want numbers. I, I said all that to say, people. <laughs> Take a plane instead of. Niggas don't take but you don't, niggas don't don't take boats to other states though. Take boats to other countries. Where? 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 That man Cole said we gonna put you in the back of the trunk and take you overseas. Bro, why you ain't drop that Jane yet? Now what? That clip he ain't never drop it. What clip? Jane put the jumping nigga in the trunk. Man, hell no. That nigga got the <laughs> trunk. That nigga really got to do the movie so bad. I'm ready to do that job too though. I'm, I'm ready too. I'm ready for that shit too, man. man. You see? Yes, I'm ready for too. Don't give me the whole room. Talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. It's crazy. That's it. What I was ready to say. Oh. South Park renewed. Y'all, y'all watch South Park? Love it. Yeah. Them little fuckers right there. I mean, I watch it when it's on. I ain't watching it in a minute. I ain't gonna watch it. It was one of them shows I used to have to watch when I was really because my mom was like, what you doing to watch yeah, you I watched it late night like, when I was little. Yeah, like Family Guy, little Family Guy. Oh, yeah, Family Guy. Yeah, family Guy or American Dad. Simpson is number three. Simpson is family number three. Family Guy is the ultimate. No, there's no filter on Family Guy. It's, everything is going to be said. It is. Everything. Yeah. To the point it's insane. Nine hundred. Yes. Ooh. That's how much they renewed that deal for. Season thirty. Sure, yeah, that's this is like yeah. South Park is gonna be that that classic. They said the show's supposed to carry on through twenty twenty seven. Yeah, <laughs> six more years. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, new Doritos, y'all y'all gonna eat them? Tangy pickle. No, no, I, think I, I, I think I have a problem with this. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I'm I'm glad. Glad. Listen, Shorty. I'm God. No, sir. That's all I got to say. Yes, sir. No, Are you God? No, sir. Get high and watch. I'm going to get high and watch. Them bitches be nasty. This is a tortilla chip. It's a tortilla chip. Okay. Is that how all Doritos is? Tortilla chips? Yeah, chip? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tangy pickle, I'm good on that. I don't like pickles. I know people that just eat pickles, though. Me too. That shit is insane to me. I watch somebody, y'all, uh, at my photo shoot and get a fresh tomato and take salt and pepper mix and put it on there and eat the entire tomato bath. So, like, <laughs> it was an apple. I you know, it's insane. My dog cooked it. crazy. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, like they eat an onion. Like she put me on. She said I was too young. Hey, cucumbers. Yeah, yeah. My dude said, you can't eat eggs up. I can't do it. Y'all know Billion that y'all heard? Shout out to yeah. Riri. Hey, I, I just a... congratulated everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations yeah, to all of us. Rihanna was crazy. She's an artist. Yeah. What's y'all favorite Rihanna song? Russian roulette. Y'all gotta listen My to it. My favorite Rihanna song? I don't got yeah. a favorite song, but I got a favorite verse. Ooh, all boys yeah. on this town. It's on what's on though. We are. Yeah, yeah, I guess on. We are. Run this town. Run this town? Yeah. Oh my god, her verse was crazy. But Kanye killed that drum too. Yeah. Her verse was so crazy. I'm I listened to that when I gave you work all oh, work. Got to. But um, the living your life with T.I. Mm, just live. Yeah, that was our mm. own. I'm gonna have to go under my umbrella. That mm. didn't stuck with me. I'm telling you, y'all listen to Russian Roulette, get high as a bitch and listen to that shit. And she Word. Make it, 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 it. Yeah. She had another joke on Rude Boy. That was a hit. Yeah. Rude yeah. Boy was crazy, man. <laughs> um, she just, she a complete artist. All she, about. she don't even got to drop nothing though. Just kick your feet up. Congratulations. You said she rich in the open, right? She originally Oprah? Oprah? Oprah. Nah, yeah, I think nah. Oprah. They said, they oh, said, Oprah probably worth I think they said Oprah became like second or some shit. Oprah 
Uber re- in reality is probably worth thirty billion dollars. Thirty billion. Thirty billion. Cool, Bill. <laughs> no, she more than that. Y'all ready for the next topic, man? What's up? All right, so Amazon is is starting to introduce their biometric palm scan, and they're offering oh, yeah, to pay your customers ten dollars if you register your palm. Palm print. Wait, what? Yeah. So Amazon will pay pay paying their shoppers. So if you go to like Whole Foods or them Amazon stores, uh, Amazon Go stores, they'll pay you ten dollars if you register your palm print as part of their data collection. Thing. Just ten. Just ten. You can you can yeah. like dad use your shit to like purchase it. Yeah. They say thousands of users have already signed up. Y'all doing that? I'm not giving you. <laughs> Hell no. Thank you. See, that be that shit. That sounds like, that sound like they trying to get closer to what they really trying to do. Okay, that's my topic. <laughs> but, yeah, but Apple been doing it though. Nah, so yeah, look. Doing what? The thumb <coughs> Cause like the data and shit. Apple got your face. <coughs> and you got that. Yeah, listen though. <coughs> everything, this might be off topic. Everything that happened in, the, in movies and TV shows is going to happen. Yeah. I just want to let y'all know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this, this shit is already written. Like, Nero. Bruh. Yeah. People think I'm playing and I sound crazy and I'm just talking half, but like, shit like Godzilla. Like, uh, what, what the, what's that shit? The nuclear type shit? Mm-hmm. But if people dumping nuclear shit into the ocean there, if that shit is real. If that shit can really deform animals, take them out their mass. Say, say you deform a pregnant fish. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then her babies come out, they got about three eyes. I mean, it's hybrid. It's, it's already happening. It's already happening. It's a new app. Y'all got to really pay attention to Twitter. Twitter is the best app. Yeah. Twitter shows you everything. It, man, it's animal popping up out the blue out this motherfucker. Oh, okay, we Oh, yeah, man. They, man, they teach you apes, human traits. Oh, I can see that. Everything, bro. They're like, come on, y'all. Just pay attention to the sign. You prepare a zombie apocalypse. Always aim for the head. Make sure you got a box of Twinkies. Because that's the only food you're going to be there for. Her. And that's all the advice I got to give. Twinkie last battle. Twinkie last zombie land on. I, will, I, can, I can name plenty of zombie things. I mean, you got you to really run in the zigzag. You can't really get people too much. You try to beat a zombie on the 40. Nah, it's not. Now the niggas run three eights out there. <laughs> and they screaming the whole way. Niggas mm-hmm. said them niggas run three eights. Three eights. But no, uh, Amazon, Amazon is a is a crazy, a crazy, crazy business, bro, because they literally sell everything on that. You can furnish your house. Did y'all ever think anybody would beat Walmart? I mean, Walmart yeah, is nah. everything. You know? I think at the end of the day, Walmart <laughs> always is going to be a top dog because you got to go, like, you can go in there and get everything. You know, I, it's, you know, it's cutting the wait time. It's cutting the delivery at the end of the day. Hey. And, and I used to work at Walmart. They bringing in 2,000, 3,000 piece trucks. Every day. You can't find it. Walmart, Walmart, and then check the shit, though. No bullshit. Yeah, and then Walmart getting so innovative. Like, you can drive through the pharmacy and pick up your prescription. Like, you can they do bring your Walmart, groceries to the car now. They bring your groceries to the car now. Like, mm-hmm. But yeah, all, all the shit. places doing that, but you can't get a lawnmower out of Target. You go to Lowe's. You go to Lowe's. Well, you go to Lowe's, you go to Walmart. And then you're going to get groceries too. And you can go in there and get you a pack of t shirts. You go to Lowe's, you get a warranty. And a TV. Well, I'm like, I got a warranty. And they got Lowe's ones. Yeah. If your shit breaks, they're just going to give you a new one. Well, I'm like, I got that. <laughs> And Walmart match your price. If you bring your son from Target and say, oh, that shit was $2 over here because it's four over here, don't worry about it. We're going to knock that. We're gonna yeah, knock we'll that. match it. Yeah, we'll match it and take five cents. <laughs> Walmart is crazy. The Walmart, then Walmart got Sam's Club. You got to remember. Yeah. yeah. Sam's Club still up. Now you can buy everything that we got to here wholesale. In bulk. Yeah. In bulk. And you gotta be a member. And you know how many members they have? Yeah, BJ. I'm a member. I'm a goddamn. I don't need shop there, but I got. I gotta have it because it's yeah, just me too. <laughs> yeah, BJ. 
Shit, they, nah, B, BJ's, BJ's got, 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 got,